Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1975 and welcome to another system overview I'm quite looking forward to this one basically it's Chinese knockoff tats only it's available in the high street here in a well a, I guess you could argue a reputable store that store being B&M who actually I do quite like could you argue that um, what they sell is reduced lines um, discontinued lines stuff like that Probably, but that's why I like them because everything in there is super cheap and well, completely different though since it's in the room and I bought this there this morning um, in a different store um, Because I went to two today to try and get this system. Um, yeah, and it's a Funko uh, and basically you, This is this is the original trilogy. It's got nothing to do with this video, but I wanted to make a point This was $4.99. What's the normal price in the high street for a Funko? It's about a tenner now all their Star Wars stuff They normally sell Funko wise is from the shit woke modern trilogy So I have no interest in buying that However, the original trilogy, which is on the back of that box, um, has started popping up there as of today for a fiver. So, random tangent in this video. If you like Star Wars when it was good uh, and you like Funkos, get your ass to B&M. Anyway, where I got that, they didn't have what I want. Uh, so I went to a, another one and they had this. I mentioned this in a video two weeks ago about the... the plug and play exclusive to B&M where it's basically NES on a chip and all the games are kind of made up or reskinned or ROM hacks of original NES games and I mentioned that this was something that I saw there so I went back to get it because it's called the Go Gamer Portable and it's made by My Arcade as you can see there I do quite like My Arcade they do well they did this um, the giveaway being in my arcade, I didn't know it was until I just read it then, being, you know, the red packaging and the lovely form factor on the boxes. They also did the, um, the, these, I really need to get a lot of this stuff put back on the correct shelf, um, instead of cluttering up the spare room. So, yeah, I went back because it's essentially, how many games has it got? 220 games, but they're 16 Bits. And therein lies my interest in what you could ultimately, what will ultimately be, I would say, fodder. But, yeah, and it's a handheld. It does not export to TV, which is kind of cool. I have opened this to put batteries in, but I put it back in size because I have not turned it on. There's still a sticker on the screen, and I wanted to show you it from start to finish. So, I'm quite looking forward to this because there are ROM hacks out there. We've seen them for the Mega Drive and things like that. But I don't even know what system you would argue that this is akin to. That's why it kind of, you know... Uh, it intrigues me because it just says 16-bit system. So is it going to be like a Mega Drive on a chip? Um, I guess we'd tell that if the sound is shit. Um, was it a SNES on a chip? Um, I don't. I honestly don't know. That's like I said. That one part I find quite fascinating and intriguing. So what you know, if it's neither of those, um, what games have they made for it? And are they completely nutly made from the ground up? Now it does have the same 20 quid by the way well, i don't even know that might be a little expensive i honestly don't know yet because i have not tried anything so hopefully i can capture it um features yada 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 220 games 2.5 inch screen play games anywhere thanks for letting me know that's a feature of a handheld kind of figured that out um blah 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 side of the box game types puzzle strategy racing action combat sports um and there we go. And so there, you open it up like that, so you can actually see the unit. The unit looks all right there. You can't really tell because you think, because it's shiny, because there's plastic in front of it, what a major flaw is 
immediately out of the box, or maybe you can, and there's a selection of the games. Look, racing, so, well, that to me looks like Mode 7. Obviously, it's not going to be, and I'm hoping and hoping and probably wishing a little bit above what this station is capable of doing. Uh, station, you know what I mean. Um, but, yeah, so let's crack into it. Now, I will say this, if you want to keep stuff pristine and boxed like me, I hate it when they pretty much weld the unit in there with those clear plastic tabs there, there, and there and it was a real pain in the ass but other than that I do like their boxes just since they come with a hand hand tag tab put it out they've made the uh, cuffs match the colors which is kind of nice there's an instruction manual it's essentially um just here's the buttons and they do stuff and you know don't have a fit warning and stuff like that and that's where it let me know it takes three triple a's which i thought was a tad expensive so anyway because i involved me having to get a screwdriver i uh, i have put batteries in there i have to pinch them out of the remote in the uh, in the gaming room because i don't have any triple a's comes with a screen protector look here we go look you can see me lucky you um why why it's, it's like it's been designed there's weight to it and not just because it's got batteries in. Um, it's like it's been designed clearly by someone who doesn't play handheld games. Because the front is so glossy. The back is matte. The bit that where your fingerprints won't distract you. I mean, really? You've made the back matte. But the front has a glossy finish. Since the fact that you can um, you can see me in it. And also, oh look, it's got the logo there. So, but also, I'll try and stop, stop it from doing that. It's going to be very interesting how this captures. Um, yeah. Look at the fingerprints on it already, out of the box. Why would you do that when you, so much of the front of the machine is going to be covered by your hands, in particular your thumbs? We'll just take this off. I mean, it's a given that the screen itself is going to be a fingerprint magnet. I can kind of understand that. Just taking this off, the screen protector, I'm covering it in fingerprints. But, yes, I am going to keep that. Oh, and also, look. Attention to detail. Put some cardboard in there to keep it rigid. Don't know why that makes me happy, but it does. Two buttons, A and B. Is there a volume? There's a volume rocker of sorts there. Um, there is no TV out. Power is up. Uh, power on and off is up there. And there's a single speaker down here. I don't know if you can see that. Just thought I'd show you it anyway. Look at that fingerprint magnet. Immediately, can you see that? Let's get some light on it there. Can you see that D-pad? Look at that. It's rubber. What a badly designed D-pad. The gap in the middle. Uh, I mean, you can argue some do have that, but there's no, it's a raised D-pad. And the gap in the middle is still on the raised D-pad. So why, why is it there? It just makes it uncomfortable. I don't know if it's so your thumb sits on it, but it is it is just uncomfortable. Look at the sorry state of that already. Good job there. Good job there. I mean, seriously, it's got a select and start button as well. I forgot to mention that. Seriously, that's just a stupid idea. Now, uh, I assume the menu's just going to be screen by screen, but I have not tried this. The screen sticker was still on it, so you could see that. I'm very interested to see what the games are and, and how what sort of 16-bit system it is comparable to. Because obviously no system on a chip... Um, has done, well, I don't know, I can't, try to think. I can't think of any system on a chip done a 16-bit system um, there other than knockoff Mega Drives, which was the Pocket PMP Go, was oh, you know the one I mean, right. Well, can you see that? I really don't know if this is going to capture. So, so the logo lights up, as the button A and B. Can you see the screen? Uh, this won't be doing it justice. Hopefully my other camera will capture it. But it is a nice sharp screen. Is it in a game? It's family two-in-one sport. you got to reset. Press A button. I'm pressing A. So, so we're in the sports section. And there's everything in here. It seems to be... Well, sport related. The music's actually pretty good. Can you see that? That's really good. That's really good. Really clear. Sounds like a piano. Orchestral. Kind of snazzy. 
music. That sounds fantastic. What system is this? Go back to, hey, there's a racing game. There's a random racing game. Press A. Well, hang on. I'm going to go back to main menu. So if I press reset, because uh, family, oh, 220 in one. Uh, family sport 221. So no, it's not sports selection. It just starts off with sports. I mean, it says on the game other types of games, but the title screen says sports. That seems a bit kind of, do you know what I mean? Wanky. But let's get into it. Uh, I'm going to go straight to that karting game if I can find it. So we've got tennis. Oh, look. It's see Golf. I cannot tell you how much I'm digging that music. Right. That's a shoot 'em up Is that a shoot 'em up I think that's a shoot 'em up City Battle. Does exactly what it says on the tin. How good is that music? That D-pad is rubbish. I can tell you that D-pad is absolutely, it's stiff. It doesn't move enough in any direction. As I thought, where your hand or your thumb sits and pushes into it, it just hurts. It's soft rubber and they found a way to make it hurt. But don't worry, I will try and capture it. It's 16-bit, parallaxy, scrolly, shooty stuff, basically. It does exactly what it says on the tin. Um, reset, you have to reset it to come back to the start menu. You can't just pick up where you left off, which is a bit annoying. Tennis, golf, bowling, uh, darts, baseball, racing? Bowling again. The screen is tiny. It's a very nice screen. Uh, that's curling, the game I thought was mode 7. It's a crazy motor, let's have a look at it. It's a very nice screen, it's just very small. Right. So it's like a hang on game. So give me some indication of how the road effects are. Oh, it's slow. This just has shit controls, nothing to do with my D-pad. Yep, that's the volume. Volume rocker works. It's alright graphics, it's alright graphics, and they've clearly actually made the games up themselves, I think. It reminds me of the games that were on that knockoff um, Wii, the Nintendo V or whatever, or the one I reviewed anyway. Don't like the fact that it brings me straight back to the, the start menu and doesn't let me quit and pick up from where I left off. Um, darts, basketball, bo boxing, boxing. Okay, right, I'll have a look at this, this is for me, and then I'll um, I'll try and capture some footage so you can see it, but look, look, so it's a constant boxing game, it gives you the stats and stuff like that. I'm looking at this and it's just a smudge, it's got speech, filth in fingerprints. Right, don't know what the buttons are, there's no tutorial for any of these. I'm just a pair of floating hands. I just knocked him straight out. Look, I'm just a pair of floating hands. This would be a great stocking filler. Right, it's very slow controls. But it's all right. Right, so this, this could be the, uh, the video breaker, if you will. I'm gonna see if I can capture some footage. I'm gonna play a bunch of games so you can see what they look like, obviously can't connect it to the TV but my experience with these when they connect it to the TV because they're all cheap AV like the um, plug and play one I did a couple of weeks ago is it looks like ass anyway and I like the fact that this is a handheld only thing right so fingers crossed I can capture this right hopefully you can see that now I got, I got, I've got to tell you I'm really genuinely impressed how clear the sound and good the quality of sound is coming out of this and the potential it seems to have for doing decent music. Right, it's fastened to the floor. Camera's on a tripod. I'm behind the tripod, so I'm going to struggle to read the screen. I suspect that these aren't going to be taxing or too taxing a bunch of games. So let's just get into it. So we press A and it's going to rock, by the way. But so look, you've got tennis, golf, 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 golf haven't we? But... Is a selection of games. Darts, basketball, boxing. That was the boxing I was just playing. Trampoline, because I know you've all been hankering for a trampoline game. Point to the quote. Ice hockey. Yeah, so if it's rocking, I apologise. Uh, choose character for an ice hockey game. There's a very kind of 
Nintendo me um, designed to the way the from what I've played each character looks like. Just in case you wanted to go immediately off the bat, you couldn't. You've got to wait for the puck to come across. Okay. And he scores. Very simplistic games, then, is, is what I'm suspecting here. I do appear to have some control over where I twat the puck as well. I think graphically that's all right. If anyone knows more about this, what system they've base this on or they've come up with their own but it's to me the colors and stuff like that sprites no flickering looks like a 16-bit system oh look it's coming from the other side to keep you on your toes to keep you frosty see what I did there because because it's hockey reset title screen that's a bit pants but hey it's a 20 quid system let's have a look at tennis it reeks of those knockoff wheeze right here we go bang on grass I don't know why. Don't hate me. I find tenning, bo tenning, tenning, tennis boring. Not quite cricket boring. Do you like cricket and tennis? Good for you. I don't. This reminds me of definitely the tennis game I played in one of those knockoff wees. See the problem with tennis games like this. Not being able to see you, or hell, just a hand, makes it incredibly difficult to anticipate where you are when the ball comes in. Or anticipate the ball, I should say, as it comes in for where you would be, or need to be. You know what I mean. Alright, so you press 1 to throw it. I don't know how to see, I can't see my hands, I don't know how to time it. It's nice graphics, the speech is brilliant. I'm just going to... I think you just press the direction and then fire and, and hope the rest is a. Uh, or Lady Luck is on your side, if you will. Plus, I would have preferred if it was B then A. I know that sounds silly, but you know what I mean. Baseball. I don't know what that's doing. I can't read it. I've got a tripod in front of my face. Speech. I cannot get over the sound. I'll shut up about the sound now. Do I control that? Can't see the friggin' but did he call strike before the ball went? Go on then. I got first far to let him know. I guess it knows because I've swung, it can tell because it's a game. It's cheating, that's a bit naughty. But yeah, speech is cool on this. Like fire. I don't have any control over that. Oh my god, I failed it. He Thanos my ass. I'm not. Okay. Shouldn't it be? Hey! Shouldn't I be bowling? Bowling? Pitching? Can I steal bases? No. Yes. Go back. I don't know, he threw the, I didn't even see the through the ball to I can't see. That's not the screen. That's how I'm playing it. Alright. And that's enough of that, because it's baseball. Although I do like the Blue Jays, just so, so you know. Bowling, darts. Let's have a look at boxing. I have played this. This is... Yeah. See what I mean about the Nintendo Wii and V aspects? Like, your characters are all clearly me's, and they've... The games all seem to be knock-off Nintendo V games. You know the system, I mean. Oh, he's blocking. I don't know how I block. I don't seem to have any of these games to have a button, something, a use mapped to button B. Get some of that in your life. He's got a head guard on because he's a pussy. Is it a head guard or is it just like a hat? Got support from the audience. Was it three knockdowns? Yeah, it's not the uh, the most responsive of things. I am liking the graphic style. 
Right, let's have a look at another game. Also, I can point out, while I have a tripod in my face and I'm kneeling, it's very uncomfortable. Dick, again, you needed to know that. A, so what is it, does any games, can I go backwards? Have a use for button B, yes I can. Racing. Yes, B, brake. I should have thought about that, really. Obviously, the racing games are going to have trouble. Second button. This D-pad is horrendous. My turning is uh, slow. Money! Oh, I'm getting faster. What's the money for? Come on, let me see the corner. I want to see how the effects are in this game. Hey, you know you wanted more cowbell. Apparently, you've got it. All right. I'll do some background noise. That's a plane. I don't mean they fly suspiciously low or dangerously low. I live by an airport. Maybe you didn't hear it over these sultry tunes. This is not a Mario Kart beater, obviously. I mean, obviously, as well, this system, which I've touched upon more when I rang up, is aimed at the very young. It would be a nice stocking feather for the quotation fingers. Very young. I don't use up all my battery juice. On my telly remote. Curling. Because you always wanted, but never got enough, curling games. The sound quality is so good, so clear. Let go. I, I feel like I, I have no control over what's going on. You just hold it down. How is this a game? <laughs> well, when you got to come up from, with 220 from scratch and you're not re-skinning skinning other people's games, I guess this is what you get. Friction, do your work, Friction. Bollocks. That's strangely compelling now. Um, who knew? So Charlie Brown, that music. And that's a good thing. Mini fighter. Oh, are we in reskin territory now? Although, this is um, Neo Geo Pocket Color, isn't it? Reskin one of them. No, because that wasn't this slow and awful. I would attempt magic moves, but I don't want to rock the thing too bad. Oh, good to know there's a fighter on it. Such a plucky little system. it repeating or am I literally yeah I'm at the start so how do I how do you change selection to and sports selection press A button I'm pressing B button that can't be it it won't let me change menu so where exactly the other I don't know 190 games are I do not know. Right, is it up or down? I mean, I probably would have to read the instructions for that. But, you know, oh no, look. Run. Or maybe arrow in here and it just repeats. Did that say education? Where are the other games? I have no idea. I'll show you the shoot 'em up I was playing. The thing is, it must be a last resort. Is it going to have any power ups? It's 
see, look at that. Nice graphics, very smooth scrolling, parallax. I'm just gonna stay here. No, I'm not, because he's got missiles. That seems to work. I'm just gonna stay here, and if you so happen to get in my way, that's, oh, on you. What's that, power up? The power ups, they do nothing. Right, well, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna round up. So what to say about the Go Gamer Portable by My Arcade? Um, I can for the life of me. I mean, to be fair, I couldn't really see that properly because, as I've shown you before, in order to capture this thing, I have to use that and sit behind it. So I'm not staring completely at the screen, so I can't really read it properly. So if there was an obvious way to select other games or they were in there and they were just repeats and you were screaming at the screen because I couldn't see it, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. The thing that immediately struck me about this, apart from the, the, the immediate fail, which is the, the finish. I mean, that is just a bad idea, bad idea. Matte gloss on the front. If anything, do it the other way around because I couldn't give a shit if I got filthy, nasty fingerprints on the back. Yeah, the first thing that struck me is how clear and how good quality the sound is. I don't know what they're using in this for music. But that sounds fantastic. Sounds very Charlie Brown. Points for that. Also, it sounds like a piano. Like, properly like a piano. You're not going to hear it because obviously it's coming out of your TV and stuff like that. But when you're sat next to that, it's, it's really nice. And the other thing I have to say is the screen is very, very small. It's two and a half inches. I have seen and used smaller ones. Awkward. Um, but it's very nice. It is very, very nice. The functionality is, you just press reset. I don't know what that button is. I should probably, see it seems to do nothing on that screen. I should probably read it, the instructions I should say, because obviously there are a bunch of other games on here. They can't, in, in, especially since you're selling it B&M. It's not some knockoff, you know, online place importing them from China or whatever. Selling it in a reputable store in this country, then there are 220 games on it. Whether or not they've been repeated remains to be seen. So obviously that's down to me because I never read these things. I never read them. And therefore we're doing this video, it's bitten me in the ass. So I will get round to reading that. I might do an update. I might not. I might just read it so I know where they are because I'm genuinely quite interested in going through this. And actually playing it, not for the purpose of, you know, recording it and being sat behind a tripod to see what they're like. Because, yeah, the, the graphic effect, like I said, it has a kind of those system on a chip 16-bit knockoff Nintendo Wii's that aren't really Wii's. They just got shit motion controls and stuff like that. Has that aesthetic. And clearly they've gone for a Nintendo look to the sprites and stuff like that, like a me look. Um, but then that could be because this is clearly aimed at kids. What is the age on it? I can't see what the age is in it. Don't you have to have the age by law or something? Probably just says um, very young. I don't know. Oh, look, they've got social media presence. Look at that bottom left hand corner. Um, my bottom left hand corner. So, yeah, it's bad, bad aesthetic. Nice screen. Exceptional music. A bit hungry on the batteries. Um, and, yeah, clearly aimed at very young kids. Graphically, um, it's quite nice. It really is quite nice. It's hell of a step above the NES on chip systems and um, I could actually use this um, to kill some time you know as my portable you know my my, my handheld uh, mainly to get some funny looks from people in the high street but also because I do like going through things like this and they have made some effort they've certainly made a lot more effort on this than they did that piece of plug and play trash from the previous week is it worth 20 quid I don't think it's worth 20 quid of anyone's money for shits and giggles and just um, genuinely, you know, the, the fascination for what they've done here, because they really, apart from that pocket fighting game, it looks like they have kind of somewhat created games from the ground up. I honestly don't know. If anyone knows anything more about this system, I could probably Google it, but you know me, I couldn't be asked. Um, and can provide me with some more information. I would, please go ahead. I would love to know more uh, uh, about this. But yeah, do you know what? 20 quid? Seriously, go, go to your local B&M. Um, and get one. It's, like I said, it's, it's worth it alone, you know, um, 20 notes for coins, because I'm English, um, for the curiosity factor alone. So, do you know what? Of all these recent ones, you know, uh, the, the really low-end ones, I mean, this one is the most interesting 
uh, from a curiosity, curiosity perspective. The elephant in the room, I think, well, I didn't mention it, but I have mentioned it, sorry, but um, yeah, just because even without playing it or powering it up, we could see that it was going to cause trouble, and it did. The D-pad, for something that's made out of soft rubber, the design with that gap in the middle, it is incredibly uncomfortable and quite stiff. Whether that wears in the gameplay, I don't know. But, as always, I'd love to know what you think, particularly if you've had one of these, uh, or might want to get one. Um, they're a great stocking cafe, I'll tell you that right now off the bat. So that might mean that you've got, hey, have any relatives who are watching this? I might palm this off on you for Christmas. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.